Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be my first impressions. Well, not really first impressions. I've seen this product before, but a different shade. It is the Jerome Russell Ble Ble Be Blonde Hair Toner in the shade Atomic Blonde. So it's a really nice white platinum blonde. They do have other shades. I have the platinum blonde. I have the silver, which I've seen a lot of people use the silver. I might try that out myself. Sorry about that, my friend just called me. I'm actually going to a house party, like, pretty soon. That's why I've got, like, the full glam makeup. Well, most times on YouTube, we have full glam. There's bands out. <laughs> I love it on the built-up burr. Like, every time I'm trying to do a video, everything's just distracting me. But that's just real life. But, yeah, I do want to try out the silver shade in this range. They do also have different ones. I think they have one for, like, darker, too. But the ones I've seen in Savers, which I got this from like last month, I bought this alongside the Platinum Blonde one, which I do have a review up on my channel right now of the Platinum Blonde. I'm not sure when this one's going to go up because um, I do pre-film a lot of videos, so it'll kind of go up sporadically for like the weeks and whatnot. So I have a few like that kind of go mismatch, like that kind of thing. So um, yeah. You'll see it when it's up anyway. You're probably watching it whatever day it's up. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I got the Atomic Blonde, which is pretty much like the white blonde. And it has gave me that lovely result. And I do have a picture and a video of before and also a demo of it. So it was around, I think it was 3 50 or something like that in Savers. It is like £5 in Boots and Super Drug, but I always go to Savers to get this. Like for any type of toner I can get in Savers, I do buy from Savers or any kind of beauty product, skincare, bath, anything that, like toiletries, I try to get from Savers because it's a lot cheaper. So you might as well. But yeah. Do you have a lot of different shades and it does come in this nice wee box. Just looks like excuse my nails need to paint them really bad and didn't get time to do them today. Well I did, but I asked about typical me. But that's what it looks like. The shade is right there, a really nice icy white blonde. Instructions and then like a colour chart. Now this is only a toner, it isn't like a bleach or anything. So if you're expecting, say for instance, you've got like darker blonde hair and you're expecting like a white blonde, it's not going to do it. You have to have like that level or close to that level to get something similar to that. But that's a kind of the result you should be expecting. Say for instance, Ellie, you got your hair professionally bleached or you bleached it or like used a high lift tint or highlights yourself and it came with that colour or something close to it, you'll get that colour. But yeah, that's just, it does recommend doing a patch test. It is only a semi-permanent colour, like a direct dye. So I didn't do a patch test, which don't follow my example. Now, if this was a permanent or a quasi dye permanent, I would have definitely done a patch test. But because I've used so many semi-permanent colours in the past, I just didn't feel the need to. And I have used it before in a different shade. And it was fine. So, yeah. But if you've got super sensitive skin, sensitive scalp or anything, even if you have used semis in the past, I would definitely recommend doing your patch test. Just take that advice with your own risk if you're not going to do a patch test. But yeah, if you've got sensitive skin, I would recommend doing that at least 24 to 48 hours beforehand. So my child's are in charge of my husband, so he just had a bit of a gun there. But don't worry, my husband's with him. So yeah, just comes in this wee small box. You open it up, it doesn't have like any kind of gloves or anything. But because it only is like a purple product, it's not gonna stay in your hands. Mine's is absolutely fine. So it does come in this wee small bottle and it does have a shade here. And yeah, just if you lose the box, say for instance, you take the box apart from this, you still see the color and everything and the instructions on the back, which is amazing. So it is, let me see how much you get, 75 mil, so it isn't a lot of product. I've got quite thick hair now, I do have some copper ginger underneath, so I just split my hair in half, what the blonde is, and then I kind of sectioned it off and applied it, I'll shut that door so I don't hear my child girl. Literally, not a lot of product, but if you've got thick hair like me and you've got all over blonde, I would definitely say I get two. If your hair is my length and my thickness and free if your hair is longer if your hair is really really long you need to get four to get a full saturation now this does say to wet your hair like wash your hair and wet your hair i put it on dry hair because i think you get the best results on dry hair 
I did say to leave it on for 30 minutes. I left it on for like 20 minutes. I was in a rush this morning because I was meeting my friend to go out shopping. So yeah, I only left it on for 20 minutes. But I did use my purple shampoo over top. My Crass Dace Ban, Up, Ban Ultraviolet. Just to kind of like give it more of an oomph. Because I didn't leave it on as long as what I would want it to. But again, I arsed about this morning. I need to stop doing that. I was being so good not mucking around, not messing about. And just getting things done, bam, like that. But see, since the past while I've been worst about and it's not good. So I need to stop that. But yes, I know I was kind of in a rush getting things on this morning. So definitely I did use a purple shampoo. And because I'd actually kind of run out of product doing my top section. Normally what I should have done in hindsight is should have started with the top, the very top where you can actually see it. I should have started with that and then kind of worked my way through. Instead of just doing it from like the bottom of the blonde and working up, it should have just done the top part because that's the part most people can actually see. So I had to use a little bit of purple shampoo to work it through. But I should have worked more through the ends because the ends tend to go more yellowy. If you haven't watched my videos before, my hair videos, you'll not know that I used to have like jet black hair um over two years ago and I had a bleach to go like a ginger colour. Like the colour I have underneath but was more vibrant and it was all over look back on my old videos in the TVM her colours and then last year I started to get highlights and then I got the full bleach with the hair left on the roots and then I just went full bleach now so I have been going through a process since like last July to get my hair platinum blonde and I kind of reached that I would say before Christmas almost but I has even got like more of a white blonde now so um yeah where was I going with this but yeah, my hair tends to like pull more yellow towards these last few inches because that was obviously where the black was and the copper. So if you're going from dark to blonde, you should like expect some kind of like discoloration because hair dye does stain. But I have to fight with that until that grows out. But it did kind of do a good job to kind of like blend that in, but I should have used more purple shampoo on the end to get a really clean result. So as you can see there, my roots are pure white and it really like did tone them like icy white but you can see the ends aren't as white they still look toned still they still looked toned but they're not you can see they're not as white because yeah it's stained with like previous hair dye i have to wait till that grows out but um it has done a good job to blend it and it is a good toner but if i had like say for instance started from the top of my hair and then worked my way down from the blonde I would have probably got a better result or bought two bottles for full saturation but I didn't want to. The thing was I found this product to be thicker than the Platinum Blonde. Maybe that's because I didn't shake the Platinum Blonde. You meant to shake it before you use it. So I found the Platinum Blonde wasn't as mixed in obviously because it didn't mix in and it was a lot more thinner, thinner, thinner than this one but because I gave it a good shake before using it. It did kind of go thicker. I don't know whether that's like all the products are like that or just this one. I will buy the platinum again and see what it's like when I shake it from the start. But yeah, it does have a, a shampoo con consistency. So it does feel like a shampoo in your hair. And um, it does spread decently easily, but not the most easiest to spread. You have to kind of use a lot of product to get saturation, which is a pain if you've got thick hair. Um, it does like, it has like an angel type of, it does have like a child lock on it too, but which is good if you have kids, but, and dogs. It does have kind of like a perfumey smell, so if you don't like that, you'll not like that, but I don't mind it, it's actually nice. It does feel like a nice treatment. It did leave my hair feeling nice, it does feel really, really soft, I would say. Obviously, I use my good, um, OGX Coconut Oil Shampoo Conditioner. The shampoo more underneath because I separated my hair and then I separated each section to wash it. I kind of kept it in the separate sections. I used the shampoo underneath for the ginger and then I used my um Crasty Span Ultraviolet Purple Shampoo for the top of my head and then I kind of rinsed that out, done that first, then done this one, rinsed it all out. And then I put my um, OGX coconut oil conditioner. I use a lot of conditioner because my hair is quite a drier texture naturally. It's wavy. And um, it is dry because obviously the big bleached and coloured to an inch of its life. It isn't in bad condition. It does still, 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 what am I talking about? 
does still feel like a decently good conditioner so i'm very lucky that way but obviously i like to use good conditioners good like leave-in conditioners heat protectants oils you have to if you have bleached her but yeah my hair does feel nice it makes your hair feel lovely which is amazing so i'll get into the demo right now It gets confusing when you say you love me and you say that we're just friends. You must be thinking this is just a game. I'm not interested to play. I'm looking for something real. Won't you tell me how you feel? What your true intentions? So when I say this product is for you, I would say if you are looking for a really good toner, you want that icy white blonde look and you do have like a naturally light, like a level 10, I would say yeah, this probably would work maybe a level 9, but if you're at least a level 9 and above, it's going to work for you. If you're not, if you're lower than a level 9, if you're not a hairdresser, you're probably going to think that I'm talking a load of like boogaloo, but... Basically, a level nine is a very light blonde, 
and anything darker on a very light blonde lips won't really work on unless it's highlights or whatever but it's perfect for it. if you're wanting that ice white blonde hair you have preferably like a level 10 or above mine is above mine is literally like a level 12 i would say it's really white especially the roots then this is gonna work perfectly for you you will get that beautiful icy white color definitely and it's gonna be for you if you're looking for an affordable toner like a lot of toners like leaving like masks hair color toner masks some of them could be really expensive this one's really really cheap so if you're looking for an affordable product then yes it's definitely and if you live in the uk i'm not sure any other countries do this i don't know if the us like america does it or australia but if you can get it there and you want that kind of effect then yes but if you can't get it in your country then no but the uk this is widely available like you can get it from boots and drug savers semi chem B&M, Home Parkins, Tesco's even, Sainsbury's, all these like product, not products, shops that stock like her products, most of them, like the vast majority do this brand, which is amazing, it's so widely available and also online, like a lot of places online do this too, so it's perfect if you ha live in a country where this is available, definitely. And if you're looking for a product that's easy to apply, like it doesn't take too long to apply yes this is really good it's easy it's usually it's easy and it's tutor friendly definitely and if you're looking for a product that's not going to damage your hair yes like say for instance you put off those demi permanent and permanent toners and you want something a bit more gentle on your hair then this will be for you definitely and yes it's not going to be for you if you're looking for like a real like say for instance you've got like a dark blonde hair base and you're looking for something that's going to give you like a white blonde you will need to bleach your hair before you go put this on it's not going to be for you and if you're expecting say for instance you've got like like a light blonde but it isn't white blonde or platinum or anything like that and you're expecting that no it's not going to be for you it's not going to be for you if you're looking for like a demi permanent quasi permanent Demi and Quasi Permanent are pretty much the same thing with different names or Permanent Toner. No, this won't give any lift. It's not going to be anything like that. And it's not going to be for you. If you can't get it in your country, then try something different. Try something similar that's available in your country and you should find something similar to this. There's a lot of brands that do do a lot of like hair toners. And it's not going to be for you if you don't like white blonde hair maybe go for they have a champagne one actually if you like a warmer tone go for that or if you do like a platinum but you don't like a really icy one go for platinum but if not if you're but if you're like buying this and you don't really like cool tones in your hair this you're gonna hate it it's not gonna be for you and it's not gonna be for you if you are looking for like a really like deep silver like a silver color do have a silver so go for that one and yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again for the next one. Stay gorgeous. God bless. Bye.